Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over how to hatch an object in AutoCAD. This is going to be a very basic and beginner tutorial. I'm just going to show you how you can hatch an object really quickly, change the shape, change the color. There are other options as well, but we're just going to go over the very basics of how to hatch in AutoCAD. Alright, so this tutorial is going to be just very quick, very high level of how to hatch an object. So hatching an object basically fills the object in with a color, a pattern, a gradient, really whatever you want. But to hatch an object, we're going to go up here to the draw box underneath the home tab. And we're going to left hand click on the hatch button. So the first thing you have to decide is what do you want to fill your object or shape with. So you have a couple options up here, but the ones we're going to go over <clears throat> are solid. You can fill it with a solid color. You can fill it with a gradient or you can do a pattern. So those are the three options I want to go over right now. But for the solid, let's click solid right here. It is going to fill your shape with a solid color. So right here, we are going to press it, left hand click the outline of the shape, and there you go, it filled it with a solid color. To change the color, we're going to go up here, and we can then go to any of these colors, and we can change it to blue, red, yellow, <clears throat> really any color we want. So that allows us to do that. We also have another option where it allows us to change the hatch transparency. So I can kind of make that red a see-through. And that's going to be right here. We're going to go over here and we'll just give it a 50% transparency. Enter and as you can see, you can see some of the uh, kind of grid pattern in the back when you have a 50% transparency. So the next option you have, and we're going to change the transparency back, the next option you have is the gradient feature. So this kind of allows for a weird kind of mesh of colors. Um, I don't really personally use it too often, but you can use this for really if you have anything applicable. You change the colors right here. I can go right here, kind of go up to a peachy looking color, and then you change the off color right here so you have the right and left hand color of the gradient and that's really how that works and the last option for the um, hatch function is the pattern and this is probably the one you are use most often um, but it allows you to create a pattern or a predefined pattern and put it in your shape or object so right here we have this brick pattern if you go up to the pattern uh, box in the hatch creation ribbon you can down click on this arrow and it's going to give you a whole bunch of random patterns that are in there as you can see um, kind of an important note too let's find one real quick but I believe so something like this brick pattern right here that we uh, selected you can change the size of it to make it smaller so to do that we're gonna go right here where it says hatch pattern scale and we're just gonna go down on the Dropbox and continuously make that pattern. I mean, we're, we can type in a number, I can hold it, whatever we want to do really. And as you can see, it has created a smaller brick style pattern in those two shapes. All right, so there are a couple other things you can also do with the hatch function. Uh, kind of a few other things too that I want to go over, just baseline. But the other things you can do are you can create with the pattern specific, um, create the pattern lines a different color and you can also change the angles and the background color of the pattern. So, for example, for the pattern line, let's, let's hatch this right here. And we're going to want that in red. But as you can see, so we have this brick pattern, we have the pattern line in red, and we have the background in white. So it creates this weird kind of white brick red outline pattern. I can take this off by changing that to none and then I can change this back to yellow or whatever I want to. I can also change and maneuver the angle to make this a little bit different. Say it's not the right uh, kind of um, angle I wanted for my drawing. So right here since it's selected I can go over here to angle and I can drag this and it'll kind of rotate this around this hatch pattern into the angle I want it to be. So past that um, there's a couple ways to get out of hatch as well. So say I'm done, I can literally just press the escape button right here and it gets me out of the drawing. 
if I want to delete the hatch, I just click on it, right click, and I can go down to erase, or I can just click on it and press delete. Very simple to get rid of the hatch out of the drawing. So again, very simple function and very easy to use. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video. I do plan on making a part two. It's going to be a little bit more advanced. It's going to get into a couple different more key features that you can use the hatch function for. Uh, but again, very basic overview of how to use the hatch function and get you started quickly. If you like the video, leave a like down below. If you have a comment or a better way to do something, throw it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out some other videos. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.